All the pieces are primed. Next step is to sand the primer and get it ready for the finish coat. So you, when you sand your primer, you wanna make sure that it's coming up as a powder. If it's clumping on you at all, then it's probably not dry enough. And in this case, mine has sat for over 12 hours, so it's definitely gonna be fine. Uh, I'll use my two different Festool sanders here, or two of the Festool sanders I have. So the ETS EC150, the three stroke. So this one was the first sander I bought. I love it, it has tons of hours on it. Highly recommend this sander. And then the RTS 400R, I just got this one for my last job. So it saves a ton of hand sanding because it can get into corners. So these are my two sanders that I use for sanding my cabinetry and the shelves and the doors. And then remember the top coat here is gonna be the emerald urethane trim enamel and this is a satin finish. So again, I'll sand with 220 grit using granite sandpaper and get these things ready for the finish coat. Now that everything's been sanded to 220 grit, we're now ready for the finish coat. Just a reminder, using the emerald urethane trim enamel, high hide white. This is just no tint. This is right what it um, comes out of the can with. And what we have to do now, remember there's water in the hose, there's water in the priming tube. So this will go in the paint, which has been strained. I do strain my paint. So this will go in the paint. We'll push all the water out first on the prime setting, which is vertical like that when the tab's straight up and down. <clears throat> Once we get uh, paint coming out of here, shut it off, and then we'll cycle paint through the hose. And once that has the paint loaded in, again, you gotta spray all the water out of here and then you have to get that first bit of paint out, which will still have some water in it. And then once it's thick enough, just get your spray pattern dialed in, just like um, with the primer where it fans out on the side.
Well, sometimes the good Lord's shining down on you. In the middle of painting, I realized my doors, although almost identically identical, almost a perfect square, are not. They're about a three quarter inch difference. And uh, I got really lucky. It was like the luck of the Irish, except I'm not Irish. So I just saved. I just got saved there. I screwed up. I didn't screw up, but I didn't realize I didn't screw up. The hinges had to be on the longer height of the door. And uh, when I was drilling the hinges, completely forgot the doors weren't perfectly square and just drilled them. And I don't know, somehow it literally dawned on me as I was doing that last door, carrying it in. And I thought, oh crap. That's not really what I thought, but that's what I'll say. I thought, oh crap. And I just checked them and the hinges are on the right edge. And that might be a sign to call it a day for today. So got really lucky there. And sometimes you just gotta get a little lucky regardless of all the drawings I have, all the planning I do. Just wasn't focused when I was doing the hinges and that's that. But thankfully it worked out. So let's take a look at these uh, pieces here. So they're all painted up. Let's see if I can get a... So laying nice, first coats on them. And I'll hit up the second coat tomorrow, let these dry. I'll sand them, probably like 240. Um, and then, you know, either 220 or 240, just to scuff them up, give them a little bit something to, the, the final coat, something to stick to. But that's it, all painted and done, just gonna close down the machine.